How can your organization build the reputation it chooses? The things that it does and the way that the media represent it are important. And so, of course, is advertising. But one solution that combines control with authenticity is good PR, public relations. And that's what we'll talk about in this video. PR, or public relations, is about building a relationship with the public. A good PR professional, or PR, will get the right part of the public interested in you and predispose them to think of you in the way that you choose. Because as a business, you want people to recognize your brand and take an interest in your products and your services. Marketing and advertising do, of course, do all of this, but they have two major drawbacks. And the first is obvious. They're expensive. Marketing activities, marketing strategies, advertising campaigns all cost a lot of money. And the second disadvantage is that people are smart. They're wise to you. We've grown up in a media world where even young children are pretty media savvy and they recognize an advert and they recognize some elements of the manipulation that's going into it. If your audience is in any way sophisticated, then advertising and marketing in general may not get you everything you need. If only there were a way to get your message across to your target audience inexpensively and in a way where they don't necessarily associate the message and the messenger with you. If you can get the word out and get people talking about you and your products and your services and your brand, and if you can do it in a way where you have a measure of control, then that would be ideal. This is what public relations is all about. The task of public relations is to create interest in a person, in a product, in an organization or a brand. And after nearly 100 years of public relations, we now think of it as a fully fledged profession. In most countries, there are public relations professional bodies and organizations that represent PR professionals. Indeed, there's also a global public relations body. And the World Assembly of Public Relations Associations has its own definition of PR, as do all or probably most of its member bodies. The Public Relations Society of America and in the UK, the Chartered Institute of Public Relations both have very good definitions. But my favourite comes from the UK's trade body for public relations organisations. The Public Relations and Communications Association has this definition for public relations. Public relations, or PR, is all about the way organisations communicate with the public, promote themselves and build a positive reputation and public image. The way an organisation is represented in the media has a huge impact on how people perceive it. PR professionals try to influence the media to represent their organization positively and communicate key messages. So we see that PR is all about creating and maintaining relationships with an organization's stakeholders. Stakeholders that include the mass media and relevant trade media, opinion leaders, other members of the industry, regulators, and yes, of course, the general public and the society within which the organization sits. PR professionals design and execute communications campaigns that get their clients' messages out. And the tools they use include things like market research, corporate messaging, press releases and press briefings, networking with journalists and opinion formers, acting as a spokesperson for the organization, or briefing the organization's spokesperson, speeches for corporate executives, and creation of conferences and corporate events where the executives can speak again, sponsoring activities and coordinating the presence of organizational representatives at events like exhibitions and conferences 
and summits, promoting executives through their contributions to things like magazines, books, blogs and TV interviews, using social media to enhance brand reputation. And of course, in a specialist niche, there's reputation management. That's about handling potential damage to an organization's reputation that comes after crises or other adverse incidents. Public relations is sort of like the shadowy underside of marketing. We don't see it as members of the public, but we see its effect all the time. When we see executives being interviewed on the TV, on the radio, when we see articles by prominent people in the newspapers, be they politicians, arts personalities, or business people, those articles have been placed by PR professionals who whip up the interest in the product, in the service, in the brand, and in the organization. Please do give a like if this has been helpful. I'll be creating loads more videos like this for management courses, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of those videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. In the meantime, keep learning.